Okay, so now you've got three. It looks like a lot of stuff you got to look at. Uh -huh, uh, really you're only looking at three things at the same time. You've got a throttle. Which? You've got a Johnson bar. And you've got a brake. Okay, now how do we do this thing? The Johnson bar is kind of like your transmission, only it's not a gear. It's a timing device. For instance, we want to go from a start, move down there, you push this all the way forward. But okay. you have to grasp onto that. That's too. right. Okay, with it all the way forward, then you start pulling this out. Just about like that. All okay. you're doing is just barely opening up the crack. Because you don't want this thing to jump out of the way, you want it to slowly move. And so like you pull this back. Speeding up them. As you slow, as you pull that back, you'll feel the locomotive kind of lurch a little bit, then it'll start going. And as it starts moving, then you'll, you'll pull it back a little further. And, right. and as you keep it. Yeah. Now, if you got it all the way back here, you're going to be spitting. You don't need that kind of power. You just handle it like a lady would handle a violin. Smooth and delicate. No brute force and stupidity. Okay, as you start to pick up speed, you can set this along and start drawing this back because what happens is you get a lot of power in the front and as you pull it to the center you get less power but more speed. So you start regulating the speed with your Johnson bar. The Johnson bar is that. right now it's in, in neutral. Maybe yeah. Move so if I can move it back here, guess which direction we're going to go? We're going to go backwards. Oh. Okay. In between is neutral. Forward. Forward. Yeah. Simple, right? Uh -huh. Okay, now, you've come to a place where you want to stop. Well, you slow this down, what? and then you start applying the brakes. Psst, psst, psst. Just, just, oh, just yeah, push. and that will put brakes onto here. Now, if you really, really stop, boom, and you slam the brakes on, and everybody goes, ah, crash, and we all stop. But you don't want to do that. Very gentle. Very it's gentle. Slowly going, like... Yeah, like that. <laughs> then you release it. You don't put it on all the way. Say like you only want to go, you want to slow down. So you just put it there. Now you start to drag your brakes. So throttle, Johnson bar, and brake. That's right. What now, about this one? That one is something else. That stops the engine. This stops all the cars behind you. This stops all This the one, yeah. This is your train brake. Train brake. So that's why it's a... There's so many, like, um... There's brake shoes on every car, along with the brake cylinder and the valve on that, and this is... Is there, like, is it only the engineer can control that, not the guy in... No, the, the engineer can control it for a nicing. On every car that ever is, there are two valves on the end of the cars, one on each end, that if you open them up, it would slam the brakes off. But that's all you can do from back there, is slam the brakes off. So Here, which, you can do it very gently. Yeah. Are, are the brakes on a train similar to that of a semi-trailer where if you lose pressure the brakes come full on? That's right. It started here, yes. And that's, uh, a that's exactly what happens. The rubber hoses between each car, if they break loose because the car came undone, then all the brakes would come on. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to move.